So wait, 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 wait a second. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm proud of you. This was because of you. Yes. <laughs> this was because of you. This is this screams you. I was all from from watching you on TikTok, and and that's why I said in the beginning of this video is that I got so much from you because I applied it in in a two two sentence paragraph, and it and it worked. It was, <laughs> it was amazing. So that leads me to my next question, though. Oh, okay. next question is at what point though is this having your power and this this strong sense of confidence mm -hmm. come across as being egotistical mm -hmm. or rash or some sort of douche mm -hmm. right where's the line yeah so that will never happen because there's a huge difference between being in your power and being arrogant arrogance comes from a sense of insecurity you want to seem bigger than other people what i believe is existence doesn't make mistakes so everybody who's existing everything that's existing has the same worth so people already sense that but here's the thing your question's coming from being reactive so the question has the answer in itself you said here's what you said when does it come off that way as a man in your power you don't give a fuck where it comes off to anybody you know your heart you know your groundedness you know how good you are you already made your mind up about who you are. So there was this author once, um, she, she, she's a female, she wrote a book and she was famous. And in an interview, she was asked, what are you, are you worried about what the critics are gonna say about your book? And she said, nah, I already made my mind up how good or bad my book is. It doesn't matter what anybody else says. So I already made my mind up about myself. <laughs> what anybody else is going to say is bullshit. But you coming from the mindset almost like, but I want this person to react that way, right? Now, I would never say that I'd never get rejected, rejected in a sense I'm calling it. And if they do, yes, I'm glad because it's a good thing if they don't want because I don't want to be with someone who doesn't want me. Like Lil Wayne does, did this cool line where he said, I think I'm cool. And if you don't think I'm cool, I don't think you cool. They do it like what they think the people want. I don't do that. I do what I do what I know is is nice to me. I do what I think is cool. And if you don't think it's cool, then I think you're not cool. So if you approach it with that attitude, then I don't think you can ever lose. My question one starts off of this girl that I've been talking to on TikTok, right? Mm-hmm. And um, we've been talking and communicating, and she's, like, willing to continue the conversation. Yeah, she saw my videos. She liked, you know, my videos. Okay, here's what happened, because I try to break this down for you. First off, she found you, okay, which is an investment in itself. Then she liked it. I mean, there's more content being uploaded to TikTok than there's to YouTube. So you got to understand how many billions of people upload every day, multiple amount of TikToks. She sees a lot of them. She scrolls down the For You page, but she liked yours. Did she comment too? She did, I think. So she commented too. She liked it. She saw all these things on her For You page and she went to DM you. Do you see how that's an investment? Yeah. yeah. You probably didn't think about it like that but it's literally a girl approaching a guy on dms well i mean her first message i know it's a rose it doesn't matter though she doesn't have to do that that's true but she did it and of course it's a rose because she's not going to be like hey i love your video no like it's bold from a woman women are from society trained to not approach guys Look, I approached maybe thousands of girls during my lifetime. I asked so many girls because I'm interested in girls, how they think, how they feel. Hey, and hot girls, really hot girls. Hey, would you approach guys? And a lot of them, there was a few, there was a few, like not even, maybe a percent, but 99% was like, no, never, never, I couldn't. And it's like, because society brainwashed them so much. That's how, you, that's how you see how fucked up society is. Because let's say we were born in a society where it's normal that girls will approach guys. Usually girls will not make the first move and they will definitely not DM. That's a DM, it's an easier DM because it's TikTok and it's not that known, but she messaged you. So that's big, so you know you already won, you won. Because 
she did it based also on your character. She did, you did funny videos. She did it based, oh, I like this guy. So, hey, you did that. Good job. You won. So now the only thing you have to do is not fuck it up. <laughs> I always tell guys that, bro, if a girl agrees to go on a date with you, nowadays they have so many options. Do you know you already won? Do, do you think, okay, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Okay, I want to I wanna ask you something. And this is crazy that guys don't know that. But if I ask you that, you would be like, oh, what the fuck? Why didn't I never think about that? Do you think a girl goes on a date with you and is like, man, I hope he fucks it up? <laughs> no, probably not. No, Bro, no, they are trained not. by Disney movies to fucking wish that her prince is coming, that is going to work out beautifully. She wants to be in a relationship. She wants to have good feelings. She wants to have a connection. There's a few who they like, they just want to have sex or they just want to have attention. Yeah, there's a few. But the majority is like, yo, they want to give you the benefit of the doubt. They want you to win. They want you to be amazing. They want you to sweep them on their feet and they want to have an amazing time. Best day ever! But guys don't like, they're fucking RAS. They're fucking system in their head. They don't think... Do you, have you seen this video where I talk about you know what the difference between me having an easy time talking to girls and getting girls is and you when I approach? I think about what could go right. You think about what could go wrong. Yeah, yeah, I saw that one. Like, literally, it's like that. Like, when I see a hot girl, I'm excited. I get excited. I'm so excited. And she feels that. But I'm not excited in the way where I'm like, I need this girl. I'm like, yo... I love you. I'm going to talk to her and I'm going to like look at her eyes and I'm, going to, I'm and I'm going to be excited how beautiful her eyes are, how sexy her lips are, how amazing her body is. And it doesn't matter what I say. She can sense that sexual tension. That's sexual tension. Guys don't even know that. And I give everything away for free. But they don't like it's like almost like this art that it's so simple and but it's trained away from society, trained it away because they make guys not embrace their masculinity. So she it's reached like out. Security now for, for guys. It's like, Say it again. There's this insecurity that's taking over a lot of guys nowadays because it's women bullshit. are so much more power now, but we're, we're losing it. Like that's bullshit to me. No, you lo you're not losing it. Here's the thing. Don't ever think about it like that because that makes you a victim. You're not losing it. There's no way you can lose it. There's laws in society that we all, like, have to, like, uphold. Like, we're not going to, like, kill someone else. But all the things where society bashes, they only bash. Okay, I'm not getting bashed. Here's the thing. I'm going I'm to I'm show you some. I'm going to show you a great example. If I go to a club or if I go to a bar and I go up to five girls who are standing around and I go up to one girl of these five girls, right? And... I talk to her and I talk to her confidently. 99% of the time, the other four girls shut the fuck up. They don't say shit. You know why they don't say shit? Unless some of them are really jealous. They don't say shit because they're happy that their girlfriend have a has a confident man who talks to them. I had this, I talked about this in one of my TikToks when I went to Runyon Canyon and I saw these two Latinas and I went up to this one Latina and it was two girls and they were together hiking the whole time. I went up to her. I talked to her. Her girlfriend was standing beside her and I show what I want and I say what I want. This is what I want. I talked to her and the girl the whole time was quiet. She didn't say anything because she knows this is great for her girlfriend because a confident guy is going up. But guess what? Do you know how many times I've seen this where a guy who is insecure, who's needy, Brings himself to go up to a girl, but his body language and his mimic is like almost like a turnoff. The girl maybe entertains it a little bit, but then one of her girlfriends going to come. Hey, what are you doing? Do you think you can hit on my girl? What do you think this is? This is 2020. Then they're trying to pull this card of being like, they're trying to, they, they only pull this card. They almost see this hesitancy. Do you understand? Yeah. They see this hesitancy and then they're like, they think they can do that. And don't let them do that. You're being too 
attached to one person. That's why I want you to be in abundance mentality. Let's say you have $20 million in your bank account and you have a house in Miami, you have a house in LA, you have a house in New York and every month another million is coming in. You have a deal, stock market, whatever, where you can make $100,000, right? But the guy is an asshole and it falls through. How upset are you going to be about this $100,000 if you have $20 million in your bank account, you have six jet skis in Miami, you have this in LA, you have all this kind of stuff. Are you really, are you really like restless sleeping over it for a week? Maybe you're mad about it for an hour, okay? Yeah. Let's say you broke as fuck. Let's say you broke, you live on the street, you have no money, you have to ask for food from McDonald's, and this guy comes up to you and is like, yo, I saw you having this great conversation with another person. Um, you might help me out and make $100,000. How excited, like how, how much do you need that? How much do you want that? Like crazy. It yeah. changed like a hundred thousand dollars and it changed your life. Now, because you are like, oh my god, oh my god, yeah, 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 I do it. The person is like, uh, I don't think you're the right person if you needed that much. Same thing with girls, okay? They can feel your neediness in the conversation, even in texting. But you know what's crazy? Let's say you let's say you get with that girl on a date. Let's say you actually make it with a girl on a date, right? Yeah. You'd be two hours with the girl, right? She sees your mimics. She sees your face. She sees your body language every fucking second, right? Mm -hmm. She sees your interaction with the pizza guy where you get the pizza. She's your, she's your interaction with other people. Now, she has so much information in those moments to see if you're really that confident man or you're just pretending. And if you're not in your power, and she's someone who wants someone in their power, which all women want. Yeah, yeah. Then she's like, she sees you with an action with a pizza guy and you like do something that's kind of, uh, and she's like, uh, he's done. You understand? I'm a